Hello everybody, this is Jeannie Terranova with this All About Yarn, Knit and Crochet. Today my sister and I went to the dollar store on the Canadian side and uh, I went down the yarn aisle. We went to get some suet and bird seed and just some little things that, you know, we might need. And I went down the yarn aisle to check out the cotton to see if they had any new colors. So they carry Easy Knit, <clears throat> which I can also get the great big skeins at uh, Mary Maxim into the mystery boxes. Because they've sent me quite a few of them already and they're like a half a pound. So these ones are 70 grams for $1.25 and they come in many colors. Um, so yeah, you can get four of them for five bucks. That's a good deal. And I like to pick up a few of them just, you know, to have the extra colors. You can get pinks and purples, yellows. Uh, neutral colors, grays, red. So then um, I seen this one and I picked it up and there were a few other ones with it as well, different colors. And I thought, oh, I'm going to get some of them. They had reds, blues, greens. And I thought, oh, those are nice Christmas colors. And I'll start collecting them. Well, I didn't get them yet. Um, they're $1.25, but then when I got it home, I got the wrong one. It, it's not cotton at all. It's acrylic blend. Now, these cotton ones, they are made in Canada with imported fiber, which it's cotton, so I believe it comes up from United States because they have good country to grow cotton and uh, so it's that's what I believe so it's pretty much all North American um, what's this one say hand wash do not bleach Dollarama. No place of. Hmm. Doesn't say. Unless there's something inside the label. Well, anyways, I will need to be more careful when I and have to check out to make sure that I'm actually picking up the cotton because it was in the same bin. That's not all that I got today. I got some squishy mail and it came in probably from what I've had before in the past a month or two early because I ordered it from China and it's squishy, squishy mail. I did open it, probably because I couldn't believe it, and look what it is. It's my squirrel wire yarn. So, this yarn is 75 grams. It's made in China. Everything on it is written in Chinese, except for the squirrel wire. My daughter's boyfriend, he is from China, and I asked him to tell me what this is, and he says that 
is the percent of the squirrel fur that's in it. And then there's 30% wool and 30% of 30% and 40% of man-made material. Um, one was like an acrylic stuff. He said he didn't quite know what the other stuff was. But 30% wool and 8.5% is uh, squirrel. So the feel of it. I can feel a little bit of wool in it. I can. Um, it's buttery, it's soft, it's squishy. I can feel a lot of the man-made stuff in it, but I see a little bit of fur and recycled stuff. There's quite the halo. So I had ordered some in January and it took three months just for one skein to get here. So yes, I was quite surprised to get this in less than a month's time. Um, there was a strike going on with the trucks at the time though when my other ones took three months to get here. And I sort of had a feeling that's what it was. So I figured that I would order a bit at a time and whenever I got them then I will order a bit more. But this would make a lovely hat and scarf set. And they have lots of colorways. So if you don't mind the weight, I didn't think I was going to get my last skein at all because three months had went by. I got it at the end of three months. Yeah. So today I'm just resting. I needed a good rest. I didn't sleep well last night and then I just got so tired I had to take Tylenol today. And uh, I got so tired, I was getting a fever from it. But that's just me, um, because I'm not a strong person, and I've overdone it. I've done really well building shelves and <laughs> made, made up that yarn room. So, anyways, uh, I guess that's it for now. Until next time. And, uh, oh, tutorials. I'm going to be doing some more crochet tutorials and I'll be making a hat and scarf with this but I don't know if that will be the first tutorial. I think I'm just going to do some beautiful uh, mandolin type blocks, circle blocks, some beautiful ones and uh, some. I can do some beautiful crocheting. I'm yet to start it. I've done so many beautiful uh, projects in the past. But anyways, everybody, stay, stay tuned for those. I've been trying to get people back into knitting socks. And uh, yeah, we need some sock knitters out there. Socks, mitts, hats, and scarves so we can use up some of the that beautiful wool yarns and hand dyed wool yarns that's out on the market and uh, even crochet some beautiful shawls with it but um, I'll be bringing out some tutorials 
and there are going to be some pretty things in it. So until next time, everybody, hop be yarning and keep safe. Bye.